Hey guys, a very happy new year. I know I've already done one video, but uh, I shot that just before the new year. So I haven't wished you guys a happy new year. God, I'm just checking my mic's work on. Um, I hope you had a lovely Christmas and a good break. I definitely enjoyed my little break. And today I am back in the kitchen with a fantastic, delicious vegan recipe because I had lots of requests about vegan recipe. Now, I just think you should do whatever you want. If you want to be a vegan, you want to be a vegetarian, pescatarian, politarian, I don't know, whatever makes you happy. So uh, the reason for choosing this is because it's such a simple recipe but it doesn't compromise on the flavors um, and I'm using one of my favorite vegetables cauliflower to make this recipe. So uh, today's recipe is crispy spicy cauliflower stir fry and it's so good i'm making it for a snack for two people but you can uh, kind of just increase the quantities and make it for as many as you want but it's so good i promise you will love this so i have got a medium sized cauliflower now you don't, you can use all these leaves, you can um, roast them, you can make a sabji of it and that's what I'm going to do with it. So I won't waste it because it's really nice fresh um, leaves. So I'm going to not throw any of this today but I'm going to use the florets from this cauliflower for today's recipe and all I've got to do is break up the florets a little bit and then once I've got the big portions off I'm just going to cut it into kind of bite size so I would think this is a perfect size a floret that we are looking for so make sure that they are all kind of similar size florets so I'm going to do that with the whole cauliflower first. So this is the whole cauliflower but I have not used all of it. I'm going to make a sabji out of this. You can find the recipe on the channel. And I've only used kind of uh, a little bit more than half because I'm making a snack for two people. So that should be enough. So in this pan I have got a boiling water and to this I'm going to add half a teaspoon of salt and then throw in the chopped up florets and then put a timer on for five minutes and then drain this out. The hob is not on, it's just going to sit in boiling water for five minutes, that's all. And once the five minutes are done, I'm just going to drain this and uh, I'm going to prepare the batter for it while they will cool down on one side. I'll just drain the cauliflower after five, six minutes. And that will just kind of soften the outsides of the cauliflower. I'm going to let this, uh, move this on the side while I make the batter. So in this bowl, I'm going to prepare the batter. So I've got 50 grams of plain flour all-purpose flour. Then I'm going to add two tablespoons of corn flour which is going to help bind the batter and then two tablespoons of rice flour and this is going to help crisp up the batter. Just a mix and now I can add some flavor to this uh, plain flour mix. In goes half a teaspoon of salt, chili powder to taste. I'm using half a teaspoon half a teaspoon of turmeric powder, half a teaspoon of garlic granules. Obviously, this is optional, but trust me, it look, tastes amazing. Oops. And half a teaspoon of paprika. Just a good old mix. I'm going to start adding the water. I have got here 100 ml. Uh, I've just left a little bit on this side. I'm just going to see if I need more. I've got a little mini whisk uh, or you can use a big whisk. I'm going to add all the 100 ml first. Make sure it's smooth, it's got no lumps and it's still quite thick.
Yes, that's better. It's much better. Okay, so that is 130 grams or ml of water added to the batter. So I am uh, just going to get some oil in here ready to fry. Uh, now I get this question a lot is what do you do after you fry? What do you do with the oil once you've deep fried in it? So I usually use a karhai, um, like an Indian wok to fry. And like I fried two days ago, I made pakoras in this and that's when I took out fresh oil. So I would leave it here hanging around. Um, for you know a few days and if i need to deep fry again i'll use the same so i am frying in the same pakora oil today so you will when i sh when i fry you'll notice that there are uh, little black bits left from the pakoras which is absolutely fine i don't reuse oil in which i fry chicken or fish it goes straight in recycling oil uh, but the vegetable oil i uh, once i've cooked fried vegetable stuff in it um I reuse two or three times and then I put it in the recycling. So there's your answer of what I do with <laughs> the oil that I use for deep frying. So um, here's the batter and here goes in slightly cooled down cauliflower. Like I said, this is for two people um, and you can, you know, uh, make it for more. Use the whole cauliflower. You can make it as a snack or as a canopy or I don't know eat it when you like right so just dip this and then it goes into the hot oil quite quickly all of them and then I'm going to fry this until they are nice golden and crispy and that will be enough time for the cauliflower to cook through Just uh, make sure that you're frying this in hot oil and also you continue to fry this on high heat. Uh, if the heat is low then it will absorb too much oil which is what we don't want. We want it to be crispy and going to cook this on high heat. Now while the cauliflower is frying I've got another pan on this hob. I'm going to add a tablespoon of oil and also going to add two small onions that I've thinly sliced into this and then while the cauliflower is frying our base can also start cooking. This is looking lovely. Now these onions I am going to cook for uh, six to eight minutes until they are nice and golden. So I'm going to get these out. They are beautifully crispy as well. I'm going to fry the second half of the cauliflower that's left. And here I've got two garlic cloves and I'm just going to very, very finely chop these. So once they're golden, in goes our garlic. And I'm going to continue to cook this for a couple of minutes. And I've turned the heat to low. Don't want to burn the garlic or the onions. Then add in a red chilli, chopped up. A couple of tablespoons of ketchup. And then a tablespoon of soy sauce. This is how the cauliflower is looking. It has browned up, it's crispy and it's ready. Um, this onion mixture is ready and our cauliflower is ready. So in goes the lovely cauliflower into the mix. 
and it's just kind of just coating um, the cauliflower in the deliciousness. Now I I don't want any sauce in this because I just want it as finger food. But uh, there are other um, kind of dishes where you can make a sauce and then add it and it's more like something you eat with rice. But uh, I am looking for a snack and this fits the bill perfectly. And there it is, crispy, spicy, stir-fried cauliflower. And that's it, here is the crispy, spicy, cauliflower stir fry. Um, this is so, so good. It smells insane. And I'm just going to get a fork and try this very, very quickly. This will go so well. It's uh, going to get dark very soon. I haven't shot a video in this light for ages because the sun sets so quickly. Um, this will go nice with a cup of tea, a coffee or a drink whatever time of the day or whatever you fancy. Mm. Oh, that's lovely. Mm. Oh, that is fantastic. That is going to finish in literally two minutes. Um, I hope you enjoyed this, uh, which this recipe, which happens to be vegan as well. So hope the, all those who requested for a vegan recipe are happy. If you have any specific requests, leave it in the comments. Let me know your thoughts. Give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. I will see you very soon with another new recipe. Bye for now. Mm. So much going on. Mm. Absolutely beautiful.